Hey, good day. It's Andy, K5PO, and welcome to the airwaves. I've been talking and thinking a lot about POTA lately, and just generally being able to have a better portable setup for amateur radio. So I put together a go box, including a new radio, a couple of antennas I've picked out. Let's walk through what I have in the kit and set it up here in my backyard to test it. So here's the go box. It's your basic Pelican case. This is the 1550. All right, so I got a couple of runs of LMR two, uh, 240 Ultra Flex. This is really nice, like RG8X type of stuff, but uh, you know, a bit more uh, rugged than uh, a lot of the a lot of the stuff. You got a 25 foot run and then a 50 foot run. Got the Rig Expert AA230 Zoom antenna analyzer. Very handy to have. These are a couple of radials I had from a Butternut Hotel Foxtrot 9 Victor vertical I had up many years back. Uh, I had it in an elevated configuration, and these are the verticals that came with that antenna. That antenna blew down in the wind some years ago, but um, the radials remain. And here's the radio we're working with. This is the Yesu FT710. Picked this up a couple days back. Pretty sweet. I have some a part to connect to my a power poles for the radio wiring, the radio power wiring, the connector for the uh, uh, my battery box, the power wire for the radio itself, a little LED flashlight, the mic for the radio, I've got a couple of USB cables to connect to a laptop, as well as a cable to connect somewhere in this mess um, the FT710 to my Radio Sport Arlen Communications headset. Already getting wires tangled here. A little coax or a little. Uh, Connector for uh, a couple of S SO239 on both sides in case I want to connect both of these pieces of coax together. And then the uh, venerable Yesu FH2 um, for um, keen memories and stuff. Not going to do much without an antenna. So here is one of the antennas I've got. This is the JPC12 antenna, Chinese made antenna setup. Here is some of the radials. I've feathered some of these things out. They come as basically one. It's like a data cable or a, a sort of thing, um, but they're using it uh, just for its metal purposes and for radials. Make this around the antenna spike, spread these out, got a little radial action there. Got the coil, coax connector base, the spike that goes in the ground, the adjustable whip at the top, the pieces of uh, uh, hard uh, al aluminum for the antenna. I bought an extra one of them from AliExpress. I also bought this radio plate from AliExpress. It's actually pretty sweet. So it goes around the spike down at the bottom. You can attach some extra radials that are easier, like the ones I have um, for the uh, from the old butternut vertical. Very cool. Here's my battery setup. So this is a, a Lightime Group 31 battery in this little battery box here and we got uh, uh it's 165 amp hour group 31 battery which is really big for group 31 pretty sweet big old chunking bit of power for not a ton of weight it's pretty nice it has a little uh voltmeter thing in here it's got a couple of uh usb ports one with power delivery as it says like a cigarette style lighter here 
and of course the uh, big Anderson power pole connectors for charging or output. And it has a couple of just uh, uh, classic um, studs on the side if you want to use those as well. Antenna time. more better. The JPC-12 antenna, like a lot of these portable antennas, have a little coil, and the coil is how you primarily tune the antenna. In this sort of antenna, it has the adjustable whip at the top, and of course that can make tuning adjustments as well, but we're mostly gonna use the coil, I believe, for this tuning. So right now I just wanna try something out on 20 meters. So I've got the coax from the antenna hooked up to the uh, antenna analyzer, and it looks like we are not quite close. So I'm just starting with this multi-SWR view just to see if I can get myself in the ballpark. I'm gonna go out there and make some adjustments to the coil and then we'll see. I think this red mark may be like 20 meters. So let's try something like that and see. SWR is all over the place. It's pretty weird. Maybe it's the breeze. I'm not sure. However, it looks like it's close enough with that one click well, to already work. Let's just give it a try with the uh, with the radio. Power. Microphone. Engage. Deaf. All right, so we're already seeing some activity on 20 here, so that's promising. Kilo 5 Papa Oscar. Appreciate you saying hello 
approaching me here this morning. And uh, I'll say best of wishes to you there, Dennis, okay? Well, I made one QSO um, to a, a POTA station. Uh, I'd say like uh, it's got pretty good ears. Um, it's super easy to assemble. The uh, the antenna is and quite easy to tune with the coil. Um, the extra radials do seem to make a difference in terms of the received performance as well. But I've got some chores to do around the house now, so I got to get it all put away back in the box and uh, in its containers. And hopefully I'll get this actually out to do some POTA stuff soon. So thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for joining me on the airwaves. I'm Andy, K5PO. Take care. 73, be well.